Hello. In a complex economic moment where central banks are not making a clear decision, are not making a clear decision on whether to maintain an increase in interest rates, or to maintain a decrease or a long pause between rate hikes, or to moderate the language to a more dovish tone, rate hike cycles, or to tone down the language to a more dovish tone. We are in a really complex situation for the economy. That's why stock markets have shown mixed results the last few weeks, having the downside. And there is a high level of uncertainty at the international level because it is not clear what the way forward is. In this context, the whole world has turned to China as a possibility to solve this problem. To solve this problem, in the 2008 crisis, it was China that somehow pulled and carried the rest of the economy and allowed it to recover. Today, the situation is very different. What is a souffle? A souffle is a bread-like bechamel dough that, when baked, reaches a perfect fluffy shape. But when taken out of the oven due to the cooling of the dough, it becomes visually unpleasant. Why is China said to be an economic souffle? The Chinese economy experienced slower than expected growth in May, leading to speculation that more stimulus is needed to maintain economic stability in the aftermath of the pandemic. Both industrial production and retail sales have shown slower growth compared to previous months and analysts' forecasts. These data reinforce the argument that China faces deflationary risks. That is a general and continued fall in prices, rising debts to local governments, youth unemployment, and weakening global demand. And weakening global demand. In response to this situation, the People's Bank of China has cut some key interest rates. The first such cut in almost a year. The reduction in interest rates has had an impact on financial markets. Investors are betting on more stimulus from the Chinese government, including measures targeting the real estate sector. Which has been a key driver of growth in the country in the past. However, despite initial expectations of a strong economic recovery in China, some analysts are warning that this recovery may resemble a souffle, which appears inflated but lacks substance. The International Monetary Fund assigns China a crucial role in global growth over the next few years, with a share of global GDP more than double that of the United States. However, it has also urged avoiding economic fragmentation caused by geopolitical tensions, and to take measures to boost productivity. These recommendations conflict with recent efforts by the United States and its allies to reduce economic relations with China. In addition, there is weakness in inflation in China, which has unexpectedly fallen. Although inflation was expected to pick up as the economy reopened and households returned to normal, there appear to be factors that are hindering this recovery. This. Has prompted some advisors to the People's Bank of China to suggest implementing more aggressive measures, such as tax cuts, or even handing out checks to households to stimulate domestic demand. In short, China's economic data indicates slower than expected growth, which has led to the cutting of interest rates and has led to speculation about the need for more stimulus. Inflation has also shown weakness, raising concerns about domestic and external demand. Although China continues to be seen as a crucial player in global growth. Significant challenges remain. For decades now, China has been one of the most important offshoring locations for the Western economy, and this continental leap in industry has been a major source of offshoring. And this continental leap in the industry from nearshoring could have a direct effect on the Asian giant's economy, which could be reflected when we least expect it.